All right, so in this video, um, we're going to take the data um, we got back from Retrofit. Uh, basically, this data, we'll put it in a list this time. So this is where we get more into the Android architecture component stuff. And so the first thing we'll need is a V model, which um, is <laughs> kind of a standard now. So um, it basically let your data survive configuration changes or well, they uh, stay right here such as screen rotations and handles a lot of um, other stuff I'll leave the link to this so also live data which will automatically update your data um, uh, on your screen without I guess you manually setting it each time um, so you have an observer um, and yeah, it helps um, make your app more reactive, I guess you could say. And so, yeah. So first we'll need to, um, yeah, so we'll take, we'll make a repository, <laughs> a repository um, package, repositories. Then we'll make post repository, uh, yeah. Repository and then which yeah that's fine okay and then um so really we'll move the uh the code we had in um main activity and so yeah we'll just copy and paste this really this would be in the view model so um but yeah it's mainly this Global variable, um, and then uh, get data, I guess. And well, yeah, we can just copy what we have here. So it'll be client, or yeah, that's not much really. Okay. Of course, you need to return it. Um, that's the post. We import that and did I import? Okay, no. Oh, it's asking me. So we'll choose retrofit every time. So and we'll take this out. And we're also going to make a um, fragment. So we'll take all of this out as well. And we can leave that. And then, so we'll also create a view models. Uh, we can put it in the UI. Oh, we, yeah, we'll do UI. And then we'll create a new view models class. So post view model. And then, um, And then what else? Okay. And then so we we'll also need um, mutable. We need the uh, mutable live data. And so mutable live data means you can basically update it. <laughs> That's the kind of uh, main thing about it. Uh, so um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be mutable. Live data of list of posts or posts. We we'll import that as well. Um, then we'll create a net block, um, which we'll do. We'll call get data. And which will 
use our repository. So um, how should we do that? Uh, we could do it like this, I guess. So it really be the same. <laughs> we kind of should have kept some of this. So we don't have to rewrite it. Um, let's go back. And then in our view model, it'll be Q. Yep. Get rid of that. We'll add a tag in a minute, but let's clean this back up. Um, yeah. All right, and then so we'll add a tag real quick. Um, yeah, that's fine. Instead of um, doing that, we'll actually or. And yeah, so, uh, in, so basically, uh, in post our value, so it's set value, of course, Colin, but this um, does it basically on the main thread. But if you need to do it on the background thread, you'd use post value. So it'd be in post dot, yeah, and then just set it. And then we can, what we'll log this error, um, I guess, and then we'll just do t um, t dot message. All right, and then have an error. Oh, okay. And then yep, that looks good so far, but then we'll need um the oh, I can't think <laughs> also we need a recycler view so use that to show a list um, in Android there's a list view but yeah we need a recycler view uh, basically we, <laughs> kind of in the name recycles a view it's kind of it's well it's not kind of but it's more efficient so um, create a if you just choose list it'll create it for you but creates a lot of boilerplate <laughs> so we usually never um, or when I set this object, it usually doesn't really work. It doesn't choose the post. So as you can see here, it already created, um, or the layout at least. So this is the item list, so which is the um, recycle view. And then item is the actual specific item in each, on each row of the list. So, and this is a vertical list. And that will work uh, for our, um, so I did use post. Okay, okay, that's cool. Um, all right, and then, so next, instead of this an activity main, we want to replace this with um, some code which already have, <laughs> I have it in a live template. So if you don't know what live template is, it's an IntelliJ thing. So it's across all of their, um, I would need to create an app graph as well, but basically a way <laughs> you can save code. Um, yeah. So also in the resources um, package. A folder will create a um, new directory or not a new directory a new resource directory Android resource I choose navigation navigation is another thing inside of uh, the Android architecture components 
kind of reminds me if you're familiar with iOS, um, like their storyboard stuff. So, um, yeah. And uh, let's look at, okay, so we'll also create a navigation resource file. I'll name it navgraph. That's usually just what I name it, but <laughs> you can name it whatever. But whatever you name it, you have to make sure it matches up, um, which actually we could have created the repository here. Um, I mean, not the, the fragment here. So the recycle view list fragment on the navigation graph. But we can just choose it on here. So, um, so you had, yeah, you have to make sure whatever you name it. If you don't name it navgraph, name name it um, whatever you named it here <laughs> inside of your XML. And then, um, see, so yeah, I hit this plus button, and then we will choose our fragment item list, and that'll be the home list. Um, or the home page <laughs> for this navigation graph. Okay, and then they created a lot of extra code for us, but we don't really need it. So yeah, it's trying to figure out uh, your layout and all of that. But <laughs> um, yeah, so we do need on view created. I'll forget some of this, um, but. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay. And, and then so we'll change this to RV model, which is the post view model. We'll need to import this. And then yeah, import this. Make sure you choose the life cycle. This will be post. Make sure you change that lambda lambda <laughs> variable. I can talk uh, to post as well. And then we don't have a, a function. Get post, I guess we can say that. We don't have that yet. So we'll go to post view model. Um, yeah, so we'll do get posts. And that's, that'll just basically return our uh, mutable live data list of posts. So I'll return M. Was it post? Yeah, okay. And then go back to post fragment. So that should be good. We don't really need this. Um, I think I probably copied, oh no, I didn't. But they're just saying you don't need this, really. Redundant. <laughs> but yeah, you can leave it. It kind of helps you make sense. Um, but so we also need to make our adapter. Okay, yeah. So we'll create, um, make our adapter. Um, which will be our post recycle view adapter. Uh, equal to no, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we'll change this. So <laughs> it did all this extra stuff we don't really need. Uh, so we'll just change it like that. And then we'll set the. Um, M adapter equal to this, and then we'll just set that to the M adapter. So you should know, or you should know, I guess. <laughs> um, oh, he's Val, so yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, you should probably use late in it, but yeah, uh, that, that worked. Okay. And then. We don't really need any of this. We'll just leave that for now. Um, so right now they're po we'll just run this real quick just to show you. All right, so yeah, next um, we'll need to change the data that we're passing to um, the recycler view. So um, currently um, it's using the data that they created for us when we use the T 
template, recycle view template. Um, and so, which is in here, place a uh, holder item. And we need to change it to our um, post object. So let's do this. So import it for us. Um, I need to cast this to a string because we also have a ID um, variable. And then this will use the, what is it? Uh, body. Yeah, we'll use the body for that. Um, and then, um, yeah, next we'll, okay, we'll go back to our fragment and we'll change this. So, um, do M lists, which we don't have yet. We'll create that real quick. Uh, It'll be array lists of posts. We'll initialize that with nothing. And then we also need to set the, uh, we'll import this real quick. So when we do get new post after we make the call, um, we'll set it to this list. Um, so first, if there's anything in the list, we'll just clear it. And then, uh, and then we'll add all, we'll do add all. And which will be posts, our posts um, object that we're returning. And then we need to tell the adapter that the data has changed so it can update the views. Um, so the adapter uh, notify um, item range change uh, zero to uh, what is it? M list dot size minus one. All right. Um, oh yeah, of course. Uh, make sure it's not null um, before we add anything. And yeah, that should work. So I'll um, I'll pause this and I'll run the app real quick. All right. So now you can see the. Um, the app has the data that um, is in the response for the post endpoint. So we're using the body so you can match these up and yeah. And yeah, the next video I'll probably show, um, yeah, a detail screen. And when you click on it, uh, I'll show you how to click on the item and then to show a detail screen, then we'll show all of the data. Um, yeah. All right.